Welcome to this special episode of Kevin's Corner TV. I'm here with Ray McGraw, and we're talking about his new book, His Life with the Boss. Let's start from the beginning. Um, how did you meet him, and where did it bring you? Uh, I, met, I met the boss in 1973, uh, actually outside Yankee Stadium. I was doing graffiti one day, mm -hmm. as everybody did in that era. And, uh, no, what were you? You were graffitiing something about the Yankees. Uh, I was actually doing an NY. Okay. Because I loved the Yankees that much, right. and everywhere I used to like put the Yankees up, or I used to put up the uh, Gene Michael, was one of my favorite players, so, and his nickname was the Stick. Mm -hmm. So all throughout the Bronx, I used to write the Stick, you know. And uh, one day uh, I was caught. I was put in a holding cell. And 20 minutes later, the guy that called me came back and took me to the Yankee locker room. Next thing you know, they gave me a uniform. And that night, I was the bat boy for the New York Yankees, and the guy that called me was George Steinbrenner. Wow. And, and George said to you, what? When he called you? Well, initially when he called me, you don't want to hear what he said. Mm -hmm. But then after that, after he got me out of the holding cell, uh, he was just basically uh, telling me what he wanted out of me. He gave me a choice, and you either go to jail, or you're the bad boy for the Yankees. And, you're, and you will do it in school, and you're going to show me what you're doing in school. And if you maintain that, you can keep that job. Wow. And that's what we talked about. And how old were you? At the time, I was 17, wow. 16, wow. you know? Right. And did he tell you years later why he did that? Uh, uh, you know what I used to say to him? I used to say to him that if it wasn't for him, I may have ended up like in jail a lot, a lot of my life, most of my life, and because that's the path that a lot of my family is on, my cousins, my brothers, and um, he always would say, you know, he said because the day I caught you, that story was already written. That's what he would always say to me. That story was already written. Don't give me credit for that because it was already far. That the fact that you were going to be with the Yankees and, the fact, and straighten out your life. The fact that I would do the things that I did with my life. Mm -hmm. you know? So you went from being the bad boy. How long were you the bad boy? I was a bad boy for two years. Okay. And then I got drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the second round and I went to play baseball for a little bit. And uh, when I proved that I couldn't hit, I came back to the Yankees uh, in multiple uh, facets. Cool. And quickly, some of those different levels that you've done. Well, I, I worked, uh, when I came back, then I worked in the, uh, as an assistant to the equipment. And I worked in the, the you know, George Steinbrenner was the first to start a, a, a fitness room. Okay? And so I, I was responsible for taking care of that room. Mm. And uh, I was uh, responsible for a lot of different variables uh, which had no label. Steinbrenner used to say, uh, I can, again, uh, the four letter word for F starts with an F. Mm -hmm. And he used to say, F labels, because it's the essence of what I need, what we need for the standpoint of Yankees in order to make it work. So if I need you to be a psychologist, a psychiatrist, or a masseuse, or, 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 or wash the car, or go get a hamburger, then that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We're all part of one big team. Exactly. It's all the team. Exactly. Good. And that's how it was. So it wasn't, I mean, I couldn't, I really couldn't tell you what my label was, what my title was, per se. I was an assistant to the owner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was always an assistant to the owner. Fantastic. In whatever way he needed me. If, if I was in New York and all of a sudden Reggie Jackson was having a problem in, in, in Chicago, all of a sudden he would call me and say, get to Chicago right away, maybe you could ease this guy's pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be things like that. Yeah. And it happened all the time. Wow, wow. So the book is uh, Yankee Miracles. And what, what made you decide to write this? Um, because people had always asked me to do a book for years. And uh, I, was, I wanted to start this before the boss had died because I wanted him to sign off on it. Mm -hmm. I wanted for him to feel good about it. And, and you know, it was going to be like my personal gift. Nice. 
to him, you know, uh, my love story to the boss. Right. And unfortunately, he didn't, uh, I didn't finish it on time. Mm -hmm. You know, he knew I was working on it, and, and I was very happy that he was proud of it. And he always asked me what's in it, what's, mm -hmm. what am I going to put in, and this and that, you know, the contents. And so I was, I was happy that I was able to talk to him about it. Right. You know, and... Uh, now you co-authored it with uh, Sally Cook. Yeah. Right? Right. And um, so what is, what, what's your favorite chapter of the book? Uh, every chapter has a, has a beautiful theme to it. Um, what, so what's the theme of the book? The theme is the, it's the miracles that the Yankees are. That's the theme. Mm -hmm. Because all throughout the years, whether it was Thurman Munson in the 70s, or Derek Jeter in 2012, without even realizing they were always performing in miracles. Mm -hmm. They were doing things that they didn't even understand themselves. And I always used to say, uh, like I remember a player once saying to me, I wanted this player to go to a, a school to talk to these kids who were like, they were basically bad kids. Let me put it that way. And, and the guy said, I have nothing to give them. And I said, don't you understand that whenever you put on that uniform, you become Superman? Mm -hmm. And when he saw the look in my face and the understanding, then at that point he decided that he would go and in essence address the kids. And, I, and you know what, like I tell him to this day, you don't know how many lives you've saved because of going there that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's all about. That's, so, that's what the book is all about, but at the same time, it's very honest, it's at times hardcore, mm -hmm. because life isn't pretty. Sometimes it is, and a lot of times it isn't. And there's, and there's a lot more hardship in life than there is beauty and essence. You understand? Right, right. And uh, that's why I felt that this book would contribute something to the world. And that's why I wrote it the way I did. Like people always like to write about Alex Rodriguez and, and Alex is dating this one and doing that and etc. And I wanted to show the side of Alex Rodriguez that no one has ever seen. I wanted to show the sensitive side of Derek Jeter. Nice. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wanted to show, everybody knew that Thurman Munson could be uh, uh, rough and gruffy, but I wanted to show another side of Thurman Munson. Right. Right. I wanted to show a side of Reggie Jackson talking to John Lennon. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. No one's seen that. Mm -hmm. No one heard of that. Right. You know, and at the time it was about Lennon was so uh, uh, private, and I respected him so much that I never even talked about it throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Even though it was something that Reggie was very, very proud of, because he talked about one of the most popular men ever in existence. Yeah. As long as there's been a world. Yeah. From this point on, from 1964 on, people will always know the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in turn, they will always know John Lennon. Yeah. And to hear Reggie Jackson say what he said after meeting with Lennon, I thought it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know? That's, so that's in there, right? Yes. Cool. Um, now, there was a children's book that you did before. I've done three children's books. Well, I've, done, I've actually done 16 books, four of which have been published. Nice. Okay, and um, you know, I'm very proud of the children's books because I thought that they uh, they contributed something. Mm -hmm. You know, especially uh, the first one. Right. Right. And um, the title which, is the Boy of Steel. Right. Because uh, a major part of what we do is go to hospitals and visit kids who have cancer, etc. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that, that, that that's what that came out of that. Excellent. Excellent. Now I understand there's a movie we possibility? Have a, we, well, well, we have a movie coming out based on my children's book series 
which stars Richard Gere, Chaz Palminteri, Danny Aiello, Cindy Lauper, Paul Simon, etc., etc., etc. Wow. And uh, again, based on the book, children's book trilogy. And, uh, and when does that come that out? That comes out in September. Uh, excuse me, that comes out in December. 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 Okay. And the book comes out in September. And the book comes out September 3rd. Excellent. The movie. Can you, what, what's the name of the book? Uh, Wait, okay, hold on. One more thing, you have a book signing coming up in Huntington, right? We have a book signing on September the 26th at 7 p.m. Okay. at Huntington. Uh, myself and I will be uh, escorted by the legendary Mickey Rivers mm -hmm. and Greg Yagenberg, the world champion swimmer, just in case there's a flood in there or something. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll help me swim out because I don't know how to swim. And. Uh, God knows who else is going to show up because you know what, with me there's always a surprise or two and then if you have a yacht and birds swim in there, something else might happen. So That's who knows? Right. And um, do, is there a website for you that people can see future uh, things coming up? Well, you, we have uh, yankeemiracles.com. Okay, good. And uh, check it out. Uh, it's a great book. It's for me, I'm not going to be shy to say that it's the greatest Yankee book ever written. Nice. Bar <laughs> none. Yeah. All right, very good. Thank you for watching this special edition of Kevin's Corner TV.